a low noise block down converter is the receiving device mounted on satellite dishes used for satellite TV reception, which collects the radio waves from the dish. Also called a low noise block, low noise converter, or even low noise down converter, the device is sometimes wrongly called a low noise amplifier. The LNB is a combination of low noise amplifier, frequency mixer, local oscillator and intermediate frequency amplifier. It receives the microwave signal from the satellite collected by the dish, amplifies it, and down converts the block of frequencies to a lower block of intermediate frequencies. This down conversion allows the signal to be carried to the indoor satellite TV receiver using relatively cheap coaxial cable. If the signal remained at its original microwave frequency it would require an expensive and impractical wave guideline. The LNB is usually a small box suspended on one or more short booms, or feed arms, in front of the dish reflector, at its focus. The microwave signal from the dish is picked up by a feed horn on the LNB and is fed to a section of waveguide. One or more metal pins, or probes, protrude into the waveguide at right angles to the axis and act as antennas, feeding the signal to a PCB inside the LNB's shielded box for processing. The lower frequency IF output signal emerges from a socket on the box to which the coaxial cable connects. The LNB gets its power from the receiver or set-top box, using the same coaxial cable that carries signals from the LNB to the receiver. This phantom power travels to the LNB, opposite to the signals from the LNB. A corresponding component, called a block of converter, is used at the satellite earth station dish to convert the band of television channels to the microwave uplink frequency. Amplification and noise. The signal received by the LNB is extremely weak and it has to be amplified before down conversion. The low noise amplifier section of the LNB amplifies this weak signal while adding the minimum possible amount of noise to the signal. The low noise quality of an LNB is expressed as the noise figure. This is the signal-to-noise ratio at the input divided by the signal-to-noise ratio at the output. It is typically expressed as a decibels value. The ideal LNB, effectively a perfect amplifier, would have a noise figure of zero decibels and would not add any noise to the signal. Every LNB introduces some noise but clever design techniques, expensive high-performance low-noise components such as HEMTs and even individual tweaking of the LNB after manufacture can reduce some of the noise contributed by the LNB's components. Every LNB off the production line has a different noise figure because of manufacturing tolerances. The noise figure quoted in the specifications, important for determining the LNB's suitability, is usually representative of neither that particular LNB nor the performance across the whole frequency range, since the noise figure most often quoted is the typical figure averaged over the production batch. Block down conversion. Satellites use comparatively high radio frequencies to transmit their TV signals. As microwave satellite signals do not easily pass through walls, roofs, or even glass windows, it is preferable for satellite antennas to be mounted outdoors. Plastic glazing, however, is transparent to microwaves, and residential satellite dishes have successfully been hidden indoors looking through acrylic or polycarbonate windows to preserve the external aesthetics of the home. The purpose of the LNB is to use the superheterodyne principle to take a block of relatively high frequencies and convert them to similar signals carried at a much lower frequency. These lower frequencies travel through cables with much less attenuation so there is much more signal left at the satellite receiver end of the cable. It is also much easier and cheaper to design electronic circuits to operate at these lower frequencies, rather than the very high frequencies of satellite transmission. The frequency conversion is performed by mixing a fixed frequency produced by a local oscillator inside the LNB with the incoming signal, to generate two signals equal to the sum of their frequencies and the difference. The frequency sum signal is filtered out and the frequency difference signal is amplified and sent down the cable to the receiver, C band. Q band. Where is a frequency? The local oscillator frequency determines what block of incoming frequencies is down converted to the frequencies expected by the receiver. For example, to down convert the incoming signals from Astra 1KR, 
which transmits in a frequency block of 10.70 Euro 11.70 GHz, to within a standard European receiver a Euro unregistered trademark SIF tuning range of 950 Euro 2150 MHz, a 9.75 GHz local oscillator frequency is used, producing a block of signals in the band 950 Euro 1950 MHz. For the block of higher transmission frequencies used by Astra 2A and 2B, a different local oscillator frequency converts the block of incoming frequencies. Typically, a local oscillator frequency of 10.60 GHz is used to down-convert the block to 1100 Euro 2150 MHz, which is still within the receiver a Euro unregistered trademark S950 Euro 2150 MHz IF tuning range. In a C-band antenna setup, the transmission frequencies are typically 3.7 a Euro 4.2 GHz. By using a local oscillator frequency of 5.150 GHz the IF will be 950 a Euro 1450 MHz which is, again, in the receiver's IF tuning range. For the reception of wideband satellite television carriers, typically 27 MHz wide, the accuracy of the frequency of the LNB local oscillator need only be in the order of A plus or minus 500 kHz, so low-cost dielectric oscillators may be used. For the reception of narrow bandwidth carriers or ones using advanced modulation techniques, such as 16 QAM, highly stable and low-phase noise LNB local oscillators are required. These use an internal crystal oscillator or an external 10 MHz reference from the indoor unit and a phase lock loop oscillator. LNBFs, with the launch of the first DTH broadcast satellite in Europe by SES in 1988, antenna design was simplified for the anticipated mass market. In particular, the Fairied horn and the polarizer were combined with the LNB itself into a single unit, called an LNB feed or LNB Fairied horn or even in Astra type LNB. The prevalence of these combined units has meant that today the term LNB is commonly used to refer to all antenna units that provide the block down conversion function, with or without a fade horn. The Astra type LNBF that includes a fade horn and polarizer is the most common variety, and this is fitted to a dish using a bracket that clamps a collar around the waveguide neck of the LNB between the fade horn and the electronics package. The diameter of the LNB neck and collar is usually 40 mm although other sizes are also produced. In the UK, the Minidish sold for use with Sky Digital and Freesat uses an LNBF with an integrated clip in mount. LNBs without a fade horn built in are usually provided with a flange around the input waveguide mouth which is bolted to a matching flange around the output of the fade horn or polarizer unit. Polarization it's common to polarize satellite TV signals because it provides a way of transmitting more TV channels using a given block of frequencies. This approach requires the use of receiving equipment that can filter incoming signals based on their polarization. Two satellite TV signals can then be transmitted on the same frequency and provided that they are polarized differently, the receiving equipment can still separate them and display whichever one is currently required. Throughout the world, most satellite TV transmissions use vertical and horizontal linear polarization but in North America, DBS transmissions use left and right hand circular polarization. Within the waveguide of a North American DBS Allen B a slab of dielectric material is used to convert left and right circular polarized signals to vertical and horizontal linear polarized signals so the converted signals can be treated the same. The probe inside the LNB waveguide collects signals that are polarized in the same plane as the probe. To maximize the strength of the wanted signals, the probe is aligned with the polarization of the incoming signals. This is most simply achieved by adjusting the LNB's skew. Its rotation about the waveguide axis. To remotely select between the two polarizations, and to compensate for inaccuracies of the skew angle. It used to be common to fit a polarizer in front of the LNB's waveguide mouth. This either rotates the incoming signal with an electromagnet around the waveguide or rotates an intermediate probe within the waveguide using a servo motor but such adjustable skew polarizers are rarely used today. 
the simplification of antenna design that accompanied the first Astra DTH broadcast satellites in Europe to produce the LNBF extended to a simpler approach to the selection between vertical and horizontal polarized signals too. Astra type LNBFs incorporate two probes in the waveguide, at right angles to one another so that, once the LNB has been skewed in its mount to match the local polarization angle, one probe collects horizontal signals and the other vertical, and an electronic switch determines which polarization is passed on through the LNB for amplification and lockdown conversion. Such LNBs can receive all the transmissions from a satellite with no moving parts and with just one cable connected to the receiver, and have since become the most common type of LNB produced. Common LNBs equals C band LNB equals, here is an example of a North American C band LNB, local oscillator, 5.15 GHz, frequency, 3.40 a euro 4.20 GHz, noise figure, ranges from 25 to 100 kelvins. Polarization, linear. Equals Q band LNB equals. Standard North America Q band LNB. Here is an example of a standard linear LNB, local oscillator, 10.75 GHz, frequency, 11.70 a euro 12.20 GHz, noise figure, 1 dB typical, polarization, linear. Universal LNB In Europe, as SES launched more Astra satellites to the 19.2 a degree orbital position in the 1990s, the range of downlink frequencies used in the FSS band grew beyond that catered for by the standard LNBs and receivers of the time. Reception of signals from Astra 1D required an extension of receiver's IF tuning range from 950 a Euro 1950 MHz to 950 a Euro 2150 MHz and a change of LNBS local oscillator frequency from the usual 10 GHz to 9.75 GHz. The launch of Astra 1E and subsequent satellites saw the first use by Astra of the BSS band of frequencies for new digital services and required the introduction of an LNB that would receive the whole frequency range 10.70 Euro 12.75 GHz, the universal LNB. A universal LNB has a switchable local oscillator frequency of 9.75-10.60 GHz to provide two modes of operation low band reception and high band reception. The local oscillator frequency is switched in response to a 22 kHz signal superimposed on the supply voltage from the connected receiver. Along with the supply voltage level used to switch between polarizations, this enables a universal LNB to receive both polarizations and the full range of frequencies in the satellite Ku band under the control of the receiver, in four sub-bands. Here is an example of a universal LNB used in Europe, noise figure, 0.2 dB typical, polarization, linear. North America DBS LNB, here is an example of an LNB used for DBS, local oscillator, 11.25 GHz, frequency, 12.20 Euro 12.70 GHz, noise figure, 0.7 dB, polarization, circular equals car band LNB equals multi-output LNBs equals dual, twin, quad, and octo LNBs equals an LNB with a single furried horn but multiple outputs for connection to multiple tuners. Typically, two, four or eight outputs are provided. Each output responds to the tuner a Euro unregistered trademark S-band and polarization selection signals independently of the other outputs and appears to the tuner to be a separate LNB. Such an LNB usually may derive its power from a receiver connected to any of the outputs. Unused outputs may be left unconnected. Note, in the US, an LNB with two outputs is termed a dual LNB, but in the UK, the term dual LNB historically described an LNB with two outputs, each producing one polarization only, for connection to a multi-switch and today dual LNB describes antennas for reception from two satellite positions, using either two separate LNBs or a single monoblock LNB with two furried horns. In the UK, the term twin output LNB, or simply twin LNB is usually used for an LNB with a single furried horn but two independent outputs. 
equals quattro LNBs equals a special type of LNB intended for use in a shared dish installation to deliver signals to any number of tuners. A quattro LNB has a single feed horn and four outputs, which each supply just one of the Ku subbands to a multi switch or an array of multi switches, which then delivers to each connected tuner whichever subband is required by the tuner. Although a quattro LNB typically looks similar to a quad LNB, it cannot be connected to receivers directly. Note again the difference between a quad and a quattro LNB. A quad LNB can drive four tuners directly, with each output providing signals from the entire Ku band. A quattro LNB is for connection to a multi switch in a shared dish distribution system, and each output provides only a quarter of the Ku band's signals. Equals SCR unicable LNBs equals multiple tuners may also be fed from an SCR or unicable LNB in a single cable distribution system. A unicable LNB has one output connector but operates in a different way to standard LNBs so it can feed multiple tuners daisy chained along a single coax cable. Instead of block down converting the whole received spectrum, an SCR LNB down converts a small section of the received signal selected according to a DSEC-C compliant command from the receiver, to output at a fixed frequency in the IF. Up to 16 tuners can be allocated a different frequency in the IF range and for each, the SCR LNB down converts the corresponding individually requested transponder. Most SCR LNBs also include either a legacy mode of operation or a separate legacy output which provides the received spectrum block down converted to the whole IF range in the conventional way. Optical fiber LNBs LNBs for fiber satellite distribution systems operate in a similar way to conventional electrical LNBs, except that all four of the subbands in the entire Ku band spectrum of 11.70 a Euro 12.75 GHz across two signal polarizations are simultaneously block down converted. The four subbands are Euro unregistered trademark IFs are stacked to create one IF with a range of 0.95 a Euro 5.45 GHz which is modulated on an optical signal using a semiconductor laser, to send down the fiber cable. At the receiver, the optical signal is converted back to the traditional electrical signal to appear to the receiver as a conventional LNB. Monoblock LNBs A monoblock LNB is a unit consisting of two LNBs and is designed to receive satellites spaced close together, generally six a degree. For example in parts of Europe, Monoblocks designed to receive the hot bird and Astra 19.2 a degree E satellites are popular because they enable reception of both satellites on a single dish without requiring an expensive, slow and noisy motorized dish. A similar advantage is provided by the Duo LNB for simultaneous reception of signals from both the Astra 23.5 a degree E and Astra 19.2 a degree E positions. Cold temperatures it is possible for any moisture in an LNB to physically freeze due to ice buildup in very low temperatures. This is only likely to occur when the LNB is not receiving power from the satellite receiver. To combat this, many satellite receivers provide an option to keep the LNB powered while the receiver is on standby. In fact, most LNBs are kept powered because this helps to stabilize the temperature and, thereby, the local oscillator frequency by the dissipated heat from the circuitry of LNB. In the case of UK BSKYB receivers, the LNB remains powered while in standby so that the receiver can receive firmware updates and electronic program guide updates. In the United States, the LNB connected to dish network receivers remains powered as well as those receivers that receive software and firmware updates and guide information over the air at night. In Turkey, Another LNB type Digitec MDUs are kept powered to receive VOD content, STB firmware, EPG data and pay TV keys in order to watch encrypted content. See also, BIOS T, blocked converter, or the mode transducer, signal to noise ratio, transmit and receive integrated assembly, duo LNB, single cable distribution, fiber satellite distribution. References External links, LNB Mysteries Explained. Explanation and Block Diagram of LNB, Noise Temperature and Noise Figure, on Astra, Official Astra Consumers Viewers Site, SES, Official SES Trade Industry Site, 
Astra Recommendations, VSAT Installation Manual with Explanation of the Low Noise Block Converter, 